Hi class, Mr. Clark here. Today we're going to be working on our acrylic painting techniques, our tints, tones, and shades. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to put your name on your worksheet with pencil. All right, and then set your pencil off to the side. You won't be needing it anymore. The other supplies that you're going to need for this is a colored paint. You can use blue, yellow, or red. It's up to you. I decided to use blue. Then black paint and white paint as well. Your other supplies, you're going to need a palette for mixing your paints in, a palette knife for doing the mixing. You're going to need a cup of water, about half full, with some water in there for cleaning out your paintbrush, as well as your um, clean paper towel for drying off your paintbrush as well. And then obviously you're going to need your paintbrushes. The very first thing that you're going to want to do is to move some of your blue and your white paint over onto your palette. Um, I went ahead and did that and have a few sections of blue and white paint to work with for this project. So the first piece asks for us to do tints. Tints are created by mixing um, our color, in this case blue, with white and then mixing mixing them together. So I'm going to start with white because it's the lighter of the two and then I'm going to work towards my pure color. So I'm going to start with my white paint. Um, just get some of my white paint here and then paint it on the section that says pure white. For my next section it asks for three-fourths white and one-fourth color. So I'm going to start with more of my white paint. I'm just going to paint my white paint on there. And then I'm going to dip my paintbrush in just a tiny bit of the blue just to get a tiny little dab of blue on. Notice there's hardly any blue on there, just the tiniest little dab. Um, and I'm even going to take some of that off because that even that little bit's going to be too much. This is probably fine, a very, very tiny amount. And then come in there and mix my blue and my white together on that circle. Notice how it's a very, very light blue. The next circle asks us for half white and half color. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to clean off our, um, our paintbrush. And we're going to use our palette knife to create that by taking a dot of blue and mixing it into our white paint. And this is going to give us our very light blue. I'm going to come back and get a little bit more blue and mix in there. That looks about 50% blue, 50% white. And I'm going to clean off my palette knife. And then paint my section of 50%. Now, since we're just starting to add more and more blue, I'm going to use the section of 50% that I just made and add it to the next area. And then use my paintbrush to go back to my blue, get a little bit of blue, and then mix them together right on the page to get my next area of 75% blue, 25% white. All right, now for my pure blue, I want pure blue. So I'm going to need to clean off my paintbrush again. So go ahead and clean off your paintbrush. Make sure it's nice and clean. Don't forget to dry it off on your paper towel. And then we're going to take an area of our blue paint that is still pure and we're going to paint our blue here. So you can see that nice pure blue for comparison. All 
All right, our next section asks us to do tones. Tones are created by mixing a color with gray. We're going to stick with blue, um, but this time we're going to actually have to mix gray. So how we make gray is by mixing white and black. So the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is create a section of, get a section of white, and then we're also gonna to need to get a section, a little bit of black as well. So I'm gonna get some black with my palette knife and put it into my last open spot on my palette. And since black is the darkest of our paints, we do not need much of it at all to really change the color of our other colors, especially of white. I'm, I need very, very little black to get gray. So I'm just gonna add just a little dot on my palette knife and I'm gonna mix it into this section of white to create a medium gray. You see how I didn't add very much black at all and I already have a pretty, pretty gray gray. I might add a little bit more black at a time, that way I can judge how much gray that I want. I don't want it to be getting too, too gray too quickly. All right, that's a pretty good gray that I'm going to use for my tones. Now, when you're creating tones on a project, most of the time you create them by mixing a little bit of white and a little bit of black on your paper. You don't actually mix gray first. But for this project, we're going to mix gray just so you get the exact indication of what a tone will do to your color. So once again, we're going to start off um, by painting our pure gray. Make sure your brush is clean. So we're going to come and get our pure gray and we're going to put it on our pure gray. All right, next we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add our pure gray to our next area. And then we're gonna dip our brush very lightly in our blue and mix them together right here on the page so you can see what that does to the color. Notice how by just adding a little bit, we've made a very, very dramatic shift from when we mixed it with white. Just by adding that little bit of black in there to create it. Now we're going to do 50% gray and 50% color. So go ahead and clean off your page. Or clean off your brush. And then we're going to go ahead and mix our area of gray. Notice if you ever run out of palette spots, you can always use the middle here. So I'm actually going to take a little bit of my gray and move it over and then take my blue that I've been using and add blue to it. Mix in there. I'm trying to get about half gray, half blue. So I think I need a little bit more blue. All right, that looks pretty good. It's about half gray, half blue. All right, so I'm gonna clean off my palette knife again. Make sure your palette knife is staying clean. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and use the paint we just mixed. In our next area. All right, then once again, we're gonna go ahead and use this paint that we just mixed over here, paint it in our next section. And then we're gonna add blue to this color. So I'm gonna go back and grab some blue and then mix it right with it on the surface of our paper. Could probably even use a little bit more blue to really get the sense of that 75% blue, 25% gray. Try and blend it to make it nice and smooth. Perfect. 
All right, next, our last one, we wanna get our back to pure blue. So clean off your paintbrush and paint our pure blue again. Make sure your paintbrush is staying clean. And then we're gonna paint our blue. Our last section that we're gonna do with our tints, tones, and shades is our shades. This is mixing our blue with black. Now we started with our white and our gray in our other sections. This time we're actually gonna start with blue since it's lighter than black. So we're gonna start with our blue and our go ahead and paint it in our pure color. Then we're gonna paint our blue in our next section. And now we're just gonna add a little bit of black to it. Just the tiniest little dot of black. It's hard to see that on the paintbrush, but it's a little tiny dot of black and we're gonna mix it together. And since we're working with black, we can actually just go ahead and continue starting with our blue and moving over. And then now we're gonna add a bigger dollop of black to get our 50-50 blue-black. All right, the last one, we're gonna start with just a little bit of blue but don't need to even clean our paintbrush since we're working with just blue and black. And we're actually gonna add even more black to this to make it very, very dark. These last two are gonna look very, very similar just because they're so dark when you mix blue and black together. All right, the last one, we do want pure black, so we're actually gonna clean off our paintbrush first. before we get our pure black. Clean it off, dry it off, make sure you don't have a lot of water on there. And then we're gonna get more pure black and we're gonna paint pure black on our last circle. Notice how the pure black actually doesn't look quite as dark as mixing blue and black. When you mix blue and black together, they create a very nice rich dark color as opposed to just painting pure black which looks very flat but it's still a very, very dark color either way. All right, our last section is our highlights and our shadows. This is putting all of it together and actually painting with these techniques that we've learned. So for our highlights and shadows, what we need to remember is that all of our light is coming from this light bulb in between them. So I want to paint my lightest areas, or mixing with white, near the light bulb up here, and then I want my shadows on my shades to be in these areas over here where the light is farthest away. So I'm gonna start by laying down some blue on the surface of my 2B cylinder, or sphere here in a second. All right, and then I'm gonna start adding in. I'm gonna use the blue that we already mixed when we mixed our blue and white together, and I'm gonna start mixing them together. As I get closer to the light bulb, I'm gonna try and get more and more white. So I'm gonna add more white as I get closer to the light bulb. And I'm even going to now clean off my paintbrush and get a little bit of pure white for right along the edge. And I'm gonna mix the pure white into the wet paint and get a very, very light blue right along the edge of that cylinder. And the nice thing about paint is if we mess this up, we can always repaint it. There's never, never anything wrong with coming back a second time. 
Now I've got the lights done and now I need to add the darks. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on my darks. I'm gonna add in a little bit of black, just the tiniest bit of black towards this back edge over here. Maybe even get a little bit more blue to mix with that black to get it nice and nice and dark back here. All right now I'm going to add my shadow. Remember the shadows are going to be darkest right near the bottom and it's going to kind of get lighter as it extends backwards. All right, so I'm going to get my pure black and then add my pure black right to the bottom of my sphere. And then I'm going to take my blue and mix it with my black to create that shade and then fade it back till it mixes with the other part of the shadow to create that nice sphere. For a cube, we're going to start with the same process. Um, since my paintbrush has already got some dark on it, I'm going to go ahead and paint the darkest side of our cube over here. Why not, not to have to clean my paintbrush off and waste paint. Since I know this side is going to be very, very dark, I can go ahead and paint that in. Um, but I'm, I am going to clean off my paintbrush now so that I can go ahead and do my light side. The lightest side is going to be the top because that's where the light is hitting the top of that cube. So I'm going to start with my, my very, very light blue that I already mixed previously. So I'm going to take my light blue and just paint our top right here. And then since cubes are faceted and not quite as round, they're really going to just be planes of different colors. Um, so I'm not going to need to do as fancy shading like I did on the sphere. But I'm going to go ahead and add some blue into my blue and white for the front. As I'm mixing those, I'm going to get a little bit more blue and work towards filling in my cube with a very little bit lighter than normal, but still pretty close to just being blue, blue. If I get a little bit of my paint dragged down like that, I can come in and blend it so that it's nice and even. And then I still wanna do my shadow, so I'll come back and add my blue down here and then I'll come back with my dark maybe I'll use my sh my tone that I made with some of that gray and come in there and darken it up and then I might come back with some black and blue get a little bit of my shad shadow for my shade or shade for my shadow <laughs> um, to get that nice dark, dark shadow going on. And then at the very end, I might come back and add just a little bit of black paint to the edge of that shadow to make it really, really nice and dark to create the nice dark contrast between the layers. And that about wraps it up for Tints, Tones, and Shades. I'll see you guys in the next video.